in Toronto, you may not get that natural system back as easily because there isn't the seed sources. You've, you've paved areas, you've moved the water off the land, and so you've changed the habitat, and so you may never move this to a more natural ecosystem with any speed at all because there isn't the seed sources, there isn't seed rain, there isn't the, the biodiversity of wildlife moving in the, the native seeds from different areas and helping you out. And you also have these invasive species that are holding the site and not allowing the native species to come in because a lot of times it's, it's whoever comes first is going to hold the site and it's much harder to get other species to come in once you have that established. Over on this side, you can see we have sumac, which is a, an early pioneer tree. So there's actually a woodland down in here. And on the, this is kind of the edge effect, the transition back into forest. So the, the early successional species is the sumac. But underneath here, all this stuff is dog strangling by and like almost a complete monoculture so it's not allowing any sort of native vegetation to recolonize underneath there because it's so dense